Hello and good morning. You're watching the latest news spotted only here on Jamaica News Online TV. Details coming up after the break. This is a reaction video. Church groups fears increasing antisocial behavior arising from proposed new guidelines on school devotions. There was a time when a lot of schools were run by, by um, school churches, and regardless of what denomination the parents were, children had to participate in religion in schools, and oftentimes has some kind of connection to the church services and programs, even though when they leave there, the school say if it's an Anglican school, when they leave on a Friday, they go to the Adventist church, they go to the Baptist, wherever that is. Yet still, maybe on a Friday, the the um the minister might come. They have a service there. The parents never complain about it. Now, people are just going crazy. Every Everywhere used to be closed on Sundays, markets, stores, etc. And people used to behave a lot better than they do now. I will not say people have to be Christians. This is a very personal thing for everyone. And I'm definitely not a preacher. But we do hope that Jamaica will not adopt the principles of America and separate religion from schools. What happened at Oberlin High School last year was crazy. And that person who conducted the morning devotion went overboard by throwing predictions at children. That went too far and it was very extreme. But reading the Bible and saying our Lord's Prayer is kind of a form of discipline. But gloomy predictions has no business in schools. So now, the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches is claiming that there could be an increase in antisocial behavior in schools if the Ministry of Education imposes too many restrictions on devotions. The Education Ministry issued draft guidelines for how devotions should be conducted in public school following last year's incident at Oberlin High in St. Andrew where several students collapsed during a devotional exercise. In an interview with Radio Jamaica News, Dr. Elaine McCarthy, chairman of the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches, said the guidelines should not diminish the role of devotions in school, and I tend to agree with her, and I know a lot of Jamaicans will agree with her. Because sometimes the only time children hear anything about religion is in schools. She said the ministry should focus mainly on the benefits of devotions in promoting discipline and other valuable social behavior. According to Dr. McCarthy, there are children who only learn about religion while at school. The church group maintains that it is in support of a recommendation for simultaneous devotions in school to accommodate all students belonging to various religious groups. The accommodation was made at a meeting involving other faith-based groups and officials for the Ministry of Education. In September, the JUGS wrote a letter to the Education Ministry expressing concern about the draft protocols for devotions and how it claims this infringes on the constitutional right of freedom of religion. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.